So everyone keeps saying you need to go back to school or drop $15,000 on some fancy bootcamp to break into data analytics. Well, that is complete garbage and I'm going to prove it to you right now because the roadmap that I'm going to show you in this video is the exact same strategy that took me from delivering pizzas for 8,000 hours to making over $300,000 in data analytics. And here's the kicker. I don't have a computer science degree and I didn't have any tech background. And here's what people don't want to admit. There's actually a specific sequence to breaking into data that 99% of people get completely wrong. They'll learn the wrong skills in the wrong order, building the wrong projects, and wondering why they keep getting ghosts of our recruiters. And look, I get it. You've probably watched dozens of YouTube videos, maybe even started a course or two, and you're still stuck in tutorial loop and no clear path forward. But stick with me because by the end of this video, you're going to have the exact blueprint that's helped over thousands of other career changers, including including myself, land big roles at Microsoft, Roku, and more without getting another degree or wasting more time on tutorials. If this is your first time here, I'm Kadisha, and five years ago, I was working warehouse shifts and delivering pizzas, making just $8 an hour. And today, I lead a community of over 60,000 aspiring and current data professionals, and I've helped thousands of other career changers break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting money on courses that just don't work. And if you ever want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to land your first role in data analytics in the next three to six months, click the link in the description so we can start working together ASAP. Now let's get into the roadmap that changed everything. So here's the uncomfortable truth that no one wants to tell you. Most people trying to break into data analytics are setting themselves up for failure from day one. And it's not because they're not smart enough or dedicated enough, it's because they're following a strategy that worked maybe five years ago, but is completely obsolete today. They think that just doing some basic Excel, running a few SQL queries and building a basic dashboard tableau will make them ready for the job market. But here's what's actually happening. You're competing now with thousands of other people doing the exact same cookie cutter projects and with the exact same cookie cutter skills. When I was stuck in a warehouse working 12 hour shifts and dealing with shoulder injuries, I was making the same mistakes. I thought that if I learned the tools, the job would just come. But after getting ghosted by recruiters, I realized something crucial. I wasn't positioning myself as someone who could solve business problems. I was positioning myself as someone who just knew how to use software. And that's when everything clicked. The people getting hired weren't just tool operators. They were strategic thinkers who could walk into chaos, clean the mess, find the story and drive better decisions. So let me break down the exact five phase strategy that took me from pizza delivery to six figure data career. And more importantly, how you can start copying it today. So phase one, pick your lane. Here's one thing that I did differently. I didn't just aim to be a data analyst. That's like saying, I wanna be a person who just works with computers. That's too vague, too generic, too vanilla. And honestly, too forgettable. Instead, I positioned myself as a supply chain or logistic analyst. Why? Because I had some Lean Six Sigma experience from the military and I could leverage that background to stand out. This wasn't about having the perfect background. It was about finding an angle that made me unique. Think about it. When a hiring manager sees 200 resumes that all say aspiring data analyst, but when they see one that says supply chain analytics specialist with process improvement expertise, which one do you think is going to get the call back? Your job right now is to identify your niche, identify your unique selling point, your competitive advantages, and your positioning statement for the job market. Maybe you're coming from healthcare. Position yourself as a healthcare data analyst, or maybe retail. Become a retail analytics specialist from education, educational data analyst. The key is to take your existing experience and marry it to in-demand data skills. Phase two, master the right skills in the right order. Now, here's where most people go completely off the rails. They try to learn everything at once. Python, R, Tableau, SQL, Power BI, machine learning, and they end up being mediocre at everything instead of excellent at the essentials. So let me save you months of wasted time. And here's the exact order you need to follow. First, Excel and statistics. Start with what you probably already know. Get comfortable with pivot tables, lookup functions, conditional formatting, and basic statistics. This isn't glamorous, but it's foundational. You need to understand descriptive statistics, measures of central tendency, and how to handle outliers before you touch anything else. Second, SQL. This is a gatekeeper skill. If you can't write joins, subqueries, window functions, and CTEs, you're probably not job ready, period. 
SQL is tested in more technical interviews than any other skill and is what you'll use daily on the job. Third, data visualization and storytelling. Here's where 90% of your competition falls flat. They can run all the queries in the world, but they cannot communicate what the data actually means. Learn how to create visuals that guide decisions and not just pretty charts that look good on Instagram. Fourth, Tableau and Power BI. Pick one and get really good at it. Don't try to learn both at the same time. Just focus on building dashboards that solve problems and not art projects. And fifth, and probably the most important that no one thinks about, PowerPoint. Yes, PowerPoint. Real analysts don't just build dashboards. They present findings to stakeholders. Learn how to create consulting style decks that drive action and I guarantee a huge salary bump will come along with it. Six. Python, optional but powerful. Once you've mastered everything else above, Python becomes a force multiplier. Focus on data cleaning, automation, and building end-to-end -end pipelines, not machine learning. Phase three, build your brand assets. Now here's something that might shock you. Your resume alone is not enough anymore. In today's job market, you need what I call brand assets, multiple touch points that prove that you can do the job. So asset number one, a results-driven resume. Every bullet point needs to show impact, not just tasks. So instead of analyze it in Excel, write reduce processing time by 40% through automated Excel workflows, saving 10 hours a week. Asset number two, a portfolio that proves competence. This isn't just a collection of projects. It is your proof that you can think and perform as an analyst. Build three to four high value projects that solve real business problems in your target industry. Asset number three, a LinkedIn profile that screams hiring. Your headline shouldn't say aspiring data analyst. It should say something like supply chain analytics specialist, transforming operational data into strategic insights. Phase four, create your own experience. Here's a game changer that most people never consider. You don't have to wait for someone to hire you to get analytics experience. You can create it yourself. Reach out to your local nonprofits and offer free analytics consulting. Take their messy Excel files, clean the data, find insights, and deliver a professional report with recommendations in 30 days. Now you have a real analytics case study and experience you can present on your resume and explain in interviews. This isn't just volunteer work, this is strategic positioning. You're not just saying, hey, I just took a course. You're saying, I help the organization make better decisions with data. Phase five, craft your story. The final piece is learning how to tell your story in interviews. You need a master and craft your answers in the STAR method. Situation, task, action, results, and reflection. And be able to articulate your unique value proposition in 30 seconds or less. When they ask you, why should we hire you? You better have a compelling answer that goes beyond, I just know SQL and Tableau. You also need to communicate how your unique background combined with your data skills make you the perfect fit for their specific challenges. Now, this isn't just theory, this roadmap works. I've seen truck drivers become process analysts in 90 days. I've seen teachers transition into finance analysts and get recruited by Fortune 500 companies. People with zero tech backgrounds landing roles at places like Microsoft and Roku. The difference isn't talent or luck, it's strategy. It's following a proven system instead of hoping random YouTube tutorials will somehow lead to a career. Now look, you have the exact roadmap that took me from 8,000 hour to over 300,000 in data analytics. But here's the thing, the information without action is just entertainment. The people who win in this new job market don't just consume content, they execute. So pick your niche, master the right skills in the correct order, and build your brand assets. Create your own experience and craft your story. So here's my challenge for you. Pick one phase from this roadmap and start today. Don't wait for Monday. Don't wait until you feel ready. Don't wait for permission. The data analytics field is exploding with opportunity, but only for those who are willing to do the work. And if you want to fast track the entire process with one-on-one -on -one personalized guidance, mentorship, and a community of people who are on the same journey, Click the link in the description and I'll show you exactly how we can work together to get you hired in the next three to six months. But either way, stop making excuses and start making power moves. Your six-figure data career is waiting. You just need to go claim it. Now go out and make it happen.